Up Milwaukee, the Brewers looking to end a three-month drought out of first place in the NL Central. Dave Bush, 5-1 and one lifetime against the Astros. Hasn't given up a home run in his last six starts. That ended in the fourth. Hunter Pence, number 13 on the season, strokes up 3-2. Bottom five, Brewers down 4-2. Ryan Braun with two on and two out. Braun grounds out to Jeff Blum at third. Ends the Milwaukee threat still. Three, make that 4-2 Astros. Bottom of the sixth, Prince Fielder. Uh, he's not happy. Not Bo Jackson, but but it'll do as he breaks his back. Seventh inning now. Brewers down 4-2. Ryan Braun, a chance to redeem himself. Two-run shot to center. We're tied at four. Fourth time this month, Braun has either hit a home run to tie or give the Brewers the lead. In the eighth, man on second for Bill Hall. Shallow center, Corey Hart comes in. Brewers retake the lead 5-4. They win 6-4. Ned Yost on the team's goal coming out of the break. And, uh, you know, you can't blame Rich Hart. His third start for Chicago, still looking for his first win, and he was, well, pretty darn effective, getting Jeremy Hermida, Jorge Cantu, and then Mike Jacobs, nothing. Harden strikes out the side in the first inning. Rolling, 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 top three, Cantu, cannot. He goes down, and then Alfredo Amezaga, likewise. Five innings, ten strikeouts, all of them swinging. First Cub ever to fan at least 10 in his first three starts for the team. In the eighth, 2-1 Cubbies, and there is Mr. Hermita, this time putting bat on baseball off of Sean Marshall, and we have a 2-2 game. To the ninth we go. Mark DeRosa. Ground ball. Hadley Ramirez, great stop in time to get the diving DeRosa. Matt Sinatra disagrees vehemently and is swiftly sent to the showers. Rob Drake does the deed and then manager Lou Pinella. Same story. You know Lou likes a good brawl. He's, he's, oh, yeah. he's not averse to, to a umpire dissension. He's warm and fuzzy. Well, he didn't see the end of this one. It went to the 12th. Chad Godin is pitching and here is Cantu hitting. Battle play Hermita. Cantu's got a double. Turns out to be the game winning hit. 3-2 Marlins in 12. In the meantime, an all-star matchup by the Bay. Webb v. Linsicum. Snakes, Giants, and both pitchers were awesome. Steven Drew, can't get that. 95 on the gun to Chris Young, and then Linsicum gets Orlando Hudson. Eight strikeouts through four, and he was matched early pitch for pitch. There is Webb getting Benji Molina. Eight strikeouts in the game for Webb. He's over 1,000 for his career, but with two on and two out in the sixth, Aaron Rowan goes down and gets it. Plates Dave Roberts and Randy Wynn, and the Giants have a 3-2 lead. Linsicum still going strong, befuddling Chad Tracy. And Mark Reynolds and Alex Romero. How about 13 strikeouts for Linsicum, a new career high. He's done after seven in the eighth. 3-3 three, three game now. Tyler Walker in a whole heap of trouble. Connor Jackson, if you're nasty. Drew scores Arizona, a game above 500 with a 5-3 win. Seven in a row since the All-Star break, facing Manny Ramirez and the Red Sox. Man ran back in the lineup. Bottom first, after a rod error to a one nothing Red Sox lead. Ramirez, runners on the corners. Grounder to short Derek Jeter to Cano for one, but Manny beats out the relay throw. To avoid the double play, Kevin Euclid comes in, 2 nothing Sox. Fourth inning now, Robinson Cano, red hot since the break, batting 484 with two home runs and seven RBI, make it three home runs. Handling the knuckleball from Tim Wakefield. Number nine on the year for Cano, we're tied at two. Cano, 10 home runs in his career against the Red Sox, most against any team. Later in the inning, Johnny Damon with a man on. Up the middle, Melky Cabrera comes in, Yankees on top, three to two. Bottom seven, Red Sox down 7-3. Yankees bring in newly acquired lefty Damaso Marte to face David Ortiz with two on. Marte in a jam. Marte, four pitches. Goodbye. Ortiz is done. Marte's day is over. Eighth inning now, 7-3 Yanks. A-Rod facing Craig Hansen. Ooh, fastball inside. That'll load the bases and a lot of tension. A-Rod can't get him out of the way. Euclid, Jabba, both looking on after last night's fireworks. Two batters later, Cano. Oh, boy. With the bases loaded. Robinson Cano is pretty hot after the break. Yes. Off the monster. Bobby Abreu and A-Rod come in, and the Yankees win 10-3. Eighth straight win for the Yankees. Joe Girardi pleased with his offense against the knuckleball.
How about the Rays and Royals? Scott Kazmir, ERA just under six lifetime against KC, but don't tell that to Esteban Herman. And then the rains came in the fifth inning, about an hour, 13 minutes. Kazmir back to pitch after the delay. Paging Dr. Andrews, Dr. James Andrews. Jose Guillen singles off of Kazmir. That'll play Mark Rizalanik and tie it at two. Kazmir done after five, seven hits, two runs, five strikeouts. In the eighth, B.J. Upton, little pop fly. Mark Rizalanik, absolutely no idea where this baseball is. Well, now it's on the turf. Aki Iwamura held at third, still two out in the inning. Next batter is Carl Crawford, slices one. Herman going to try and make a play and end the inning. Cannot quite hold on, so the Rays still with a shot. Wouldn't you know it, Crawford makes it stick. Second triple of the game scores Upton and Iwamura, and the Rays win it 5-3. to three. So they, how about this game in the NL, Cards and Mets. Brandon Knight, first major league appearance since 2002 with the Yanks. Maybe some nerves early on as he plunks Brian Ludwig. Walks Troy Gloss there to force home a run. Cards get four off of Knight in the first, but he would settle down. Bottom four, it is 4-4, and there's Jose Reyes, his 12th of the year. And the Mets are up by a run. 5-5 game in the sixth. Runners at the corners and Troy Gloss. Little nubber, and that has trouble written all over it. David Wright, got to eat it. Ludwig scores, cards up 6-5. Bottom six, now 8-5 until Carlos Delgado, second home run of the night. Career jack, 453, passes Yaz, 32nd on the all-time list, and it's an 8-7 game. In the eighth, Mets with a leadoff man at second, so they're in business until Kyle McClellan steps up and knocks down David Wright and Delgado and Carlos Beltran. How about the three, four, five hitters going down? Cards out of the eighth. Turn it over to Ryan Franklin in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the Cardinals having closer issues. Fernando Tatis to center. Rick Ankiel trying to channel his inner Jim Edmonds. Oh, just a buck short. So close, but it's over the wall, and we are tied at eight. Going bonus baseball in the tent. Delgado. Two home runs, can't make it three. Right back at you to Franklin. 163 DP, and we play on. Bottom of the 12th inning. Jose Reyes. Other way, Skip Schumacher. Now that could have been an inside the parker if it gets by him. As it stands, it's a nice play. And how often do you see it? Guy makes a great diving catch and then comes back and gets his sixth hit of the game. After midnight Eastern time, Mr. Schumacher, the first Cardinal with six hits in a ball game since Terry Moore in 1935. You had him on your fantasy team that year, I'm sure. And then later in the 14th inning, Albert Pujols, 19th of the year, and it's the game winner. Five hours and nine minutes later, the Cards win 10-8. I got a wild one in Philly. Philly's hosting the Braves. We have a Mike Hampton signing. First start in nearly three years. Bottom third, and Ryan Howard sit down. Hampton's only strikeout of the game. Fourth inning. Major meltdown for Cole Hamels. Bases loaded, nobody out. Omar Infante down the left field line. It's fair. Two come in, and it's now 3-2 Phillies. The inning would play on two batters later. 3-3, Martin Prado to second base. Chase Utley can't get it done. E4. Next batter, it's Mark Kotze. Hamels still on the bump. Oh, boy. Down the right side. Infante comes in for three Braves. Next batter, it's Hampton. And here's the trouble. Hamels to second, finds center field. E1, Prado scores 5-3 Braves. Next batter, Gregor Blanco. How about the bunt? That's nice, the single. Conte comes in, 6-3 Braves. Two batters later, Teixeira for the second time this inning. Teixeira, goodbye. Three run Jack, first six seasons with 20 home runs. Hamels gave up nine runs, tying a career high, didn't make it out of the fourth. Phillies, though, would respond in the fifth. Two men on for Utley to left. Hampton pulled after that, four plus, eight hits, six earned runs. Next batter is Ryan Howard. Singles to center. Ryan Howard can single. Jimmy Rollins, Shane Victorino come in. Nine five Braves. Later in the inning, it's nine six. Chris Coast. 
Oh, he had a day. Three for four for the catcher, three RBI. Howard comes in, 9-7 Braves. Next batter, it's the pitch hitter, Greg Dobbs. 20th pitch hitter of the season, tying a club record. This one, a three-run shot. That's the difference. The Phillies win this one, 10-9. Six and a half games separate the first place White Sox and third place Tigers. Justin Verlander, 6-0 in his last eight starts, struggled against the White Sox. Both teams wearing throwback uniforms to honor the Negro Leagues. In the third, and hard-hitting Carlos Quinton living up to the name, taking a 96-mile-per-hour fastball deep, and then another 96-mile-per-hour fastball. Get up and get out. That's the next batter. That's your main die. Fourth career home run against Verlander in 33 at-bats. In the fifth now, tied at four. Two on for die again. Singles are right. A.J. Pierzynski coming in. Verlander out. Four innings, seven runs. He's now two and seven in his career against the White Sox. Octavio Dotel getting Carlos Guillen swinging to end the inning. Sox win this one seven to six. Back to baseball. Angels have won nine of 11 facing the Orioles in the top of the first. Rodimus Liz walking Mycerius Turris. Coming into the game, the Orioles have walked a major league worst 430 batters. Liz free pass to Vlad Guerrero. Next batter is Torrey Hunter. Uh, more trouble, Liz. Control issues. Pitch into the dirt, scoots away. Runners on second and third. Very next pitch, Hunter. The single into the gap. Both runners come in. Angels up 2-0 in the third now. 4-3 Angels and Hunter getting it done again. Taking Liz out for a ride to center. Number 14 on the year for Torrey. In the ninth, 9-5 Angels. Oh, Fernando Cabrera. It's not staying in the yard. Hunter, second one of the day, 11 multi-home run games in his career. Angels win 11-6. Rangers and A's, Justin Dukesure hasn't allowed more than two earned runs in 11 consecutive starts. Dukesure has 11 letters. What beats that? 14 letters. Jared Saltalamacchia touches him up for the two-run double, and it is 3-0 Rangers. Dukesure's streak will, in fact, come to an end. In the fifth. The lead is 3-2, Texas. Dukes are facing Josh Hamilton. Kurt Suzuki going to have a few words because, you know, it's Josh Hamilton. Apparently, either he said the wrong thing or Dukes are ignored it. Either way, three-run shot, 103 RBI for Hamilton. Rangers win. We got winners here. Number 10, Reds, Rockies, Jeremy Affelt. Fields a weekly hit ball. Down the line, turns, and makes the throw. He's a pitcher. How about that? One more look, off balance. Yeah, he's got skills. Multiple, multiples, yes. Reds lose 5-1. Number nine, how about Major League Lacrosse, New Jersey, Washington, and a substantial day for attacker Andrew Bugs Combs of Washington. Eight goals, eight. One shy of the fifth hit of the game for Pools. Cards win 10-8. Number seven, Kevin Kuzminov down the line. Doug Minkavich. Doug Minkavich is an infielder. Wouldn't know it from that effort. And this game. Mariners, Blue Jays, Jose Lopez. The grounder, Scott Rowland, does this practically every night. Barehanded, yeah. Lopez is done. Great defense. You always get it from Rowland. Blue Jays win, 8-3. Number five, the FIFA Beach Soccer Semifinals, Portugal and Brazil. And look at Alon. Beautiful goal off the left foot. Certainly worthy of another look. That takes some serious concentration. Uh, but Portugal loses 5-4. Number four, Nats and the Dodgers. Looking bad. Great range. Ronnie Belliard out at first. Good stretch by Loduca. Ronnie Belliard watches the play end from short left center field. Only highlight for the Max, they lost 6 nine. Yeah, no doubt. Number three, more Major League Lacrosse. Chicago's Kevin Lavelle against Denver gets knocked down and from his knees, all the stick to itiveness. That's pretty. Not a, yeah. Number one, back to the Pirates and Padres. Jody or Jason Bay, the deep shot. Jody Garrett going up and. That's tremendous. He gets caught up in the wall to boot, stays with it, and Jody Garrett, you earn the top play of the day.